for the must read opinion pages uh, i just want to take a politico reporting here that uh, as the president was in the west coast i guess yesterday to meet with donors from two top democratic super PACs the press was uh, kept out um, the reporters and photographers traveling with the president and air force one uh, were left on the gravel path uh, outside not even within the site of former costco ceo jim senegal's house in the seattle suburbs and there's some concern there reporters were pressing as to why they couldn't go in and, yeah. and see the fundraiser a little more open coverage given the nature of the event and Weiss, White House Press Secretary Josh Ernest demurred not this time he said well you know so, taxpayer dollars are paying for the trip out west uh, there is a you know right to have some sort of coverage here I agree with the press it's just this White House is clamping down way too much on things like this and uh, some might argue why uh, one wonder why I'm not and, asking and for, that would you know, be to sit in the room but at least give us a, a sampling of what is the president's doing with his time do we know in the garage or something yeah <laughs> do we know Rapple what, path do we know what enough? portion of the president's trips for fundraisers are paid by the Democrat National Committee is a portion is paid by the you're right a portion is paid by the DNC right. they, they say that you know they they siphon off that stuff but you know these are divvied up between actual presidential events these these trips yeah you know the speeches that yeah. he gives and the uh, the fundraisers and so just to get out west there is a portion of taxpayer money that goes to it so. uh, but you know even if, even without that I think mm -hmm. the press is entitled to know who has the president's ear and you know a little bit of access from this White House on that front is an important thing and it shouldn't be stifled.